During 2012, there was a pretty horrendous um, accident. There was a rally in the main square here of Yerevan, and uh, someone had used hydrogen instead of helium in filling up a bunch of rubber balloons. Um, someone lit a cigarette, and the group of balloons all caught fire, so there's a giant fireball. And the, uh, the real damage was not done so much by the giant fireball overhead, but by the burning rubber balloons as they rained down. I think this sort of overwhelmed the care system here. So if you have a, simultaneously hundreds of people showing up in the emergency ward, you take care of the ones that are the worst off. And I think the initial care for a burn um, really does determine the long-term consequences to some extent. So it was an overwhelming event. It's a uh, opportunity to help children who normally would not have access to modern care. So the things that we've developed in the States, uh, in particular laser uh, treatments uh, for children, are not available all around the world. So this is a part of the world that is you know, not yet fully aware of them. We have the ability now to treat burn scars. We can normalize the skin. We can take away a lot of the pain and the uh, contraction so people that can't move can move again. Um, that kind of capability is only able to be provided if you have the right technology and you also know how to use it. So that's what we're here for. We're bringing technology and showing people how to use it in a place where they really need it. The project that we are supporting here with Rox Anderson and his group is part of our uh, core mission. Our core mission is not only to produce lasers and then to sell lasers. The, the mission is to take really care of people because people are masterpieces of God. I'm very pleased when laser companies like Quanta are willing to step up and join us in providing something that's sustainable. And that, that's not just giving a laser. It's like I'm impressed that the engineers show up, they install the laser, there's teaching and there's maintenance of that. So I'd like to thank Quanta for their work.